this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views. But I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now today I'm going to do my best to upload about say four reactions. And I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my fourth reaction of today, um, the song is called, um, no, I think that the artist is called Apache. Um, the track is called Witch and is featuring Elena Pash. And as you know, I love Elena Pash and what she carries out and what she brings to the table. I have not reacted to um, Apache. Um, uh, if, that's, if that's the name of the artist, let me know. Um, uh, if that's the way how I should pronounce the word, the name of the artist, um, let me know. If not, then please break it down and correct me. But I'm thoroughly looking forward to this collaboration. You, look, Elena Pash never di disappoints me when it comes to her collaborations and what she does. She's just in her, she's just in her own world, creating music that is just like no, that nobody else is doing you know and i just that's what i love about her so look that's going to be my next reaction of today but before that if this is your first time coming over to my channel then please go over to my home page and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic amazing artists which i do not want you to miss out on and once again i have simplified it for you i have broken it down into various musical categories just remember, when you go into these individual categories, these are artists from around the world, both established artists and non-established artists. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed whatsoever, at all. Anyway, look, let's go straight into my fourth reaction of today. So this is Apache with um, um, the song, I believe is called Witch, and is featuring Elena Pash. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? Toes, just don't know what you're gonna get, but you know you're gonna enjoy it. So she always sticks to that kind of traditional elements of the country, not the for the witches, but the historic value. This has already got the dramatic in it already. Suddenly, 
So she's got this operatic feeling into it as well. Apache, um, the track is called Witch and it's featuring um, Elena Pash. She never disappoints me, that woman. I, my last reaction of her, she was, uh, I, went, I went back in time to reminisce on how she started. And there was, uh, you know, Ukraine got talent kind of thing. And the Boom, the Boom, um, Boombox family was um, one of the judges as well. And she'd done the, um, uh, an Etta James song, At Last. And and it was just amazing, absolutely breathtaking. And it just showed me a different kind of um, a contrast of Elena Pash altogether. The way how she started off to way how she what she's she, uh, there's you've got to break a few eggs to make to make to make uh, scrambled eggs, you know, that kind of thing. And you saw that at the beginning, Elena Pash done her um, a jazzy element. And then she's slowly moved into her comfort zone, the movement that she loves to do. And it's very folk, it's very traditional. But also, she brings in this EDM vibe um, that to, just to mess with our heads, just to give us some kind of levels, this um, and depth as well, and dimension. You never get disappointed when Elena Pash does her music because... I said, it's got a lot of traditional values in there, a lot of storyline in there and historic values in there. But the music it creates as well, it keeps, it's kind of very trancey, um, on your toes. And but then all of a sudden she, she can step out of the box because you've seen her do a collaboration with the Hard Kiss. Um, you see them do loads of collaboration with loads of different people, but it just showed me how universal she is, how... Uh, how much she can adapt to whatever kind of sounds that she that you put in front of her, but where she stays in her comfort zone, where she says where she's at her most dangerous, is when she's doing styles like this. And when I mean dangerous, where she can portray a storyline that's so strong and potent in your face that you can't even go around it. You have no choice but to have it head on. You know, that's what I love about her. She's just this head on, no nonsense, straightforward, straight talking um, straight um, um, artist that gives you m what you want and more. She can identify the gaps within the historic value and puts it right in your face like it's a dinner plate. She really can. And like I said, she never disappoints with her, with her performances. It's always high energy. It always is. And that's what I love about her. And for that reason, I salute you. Absolutely amazing once again. Oh.